Baking can help you make your stuff more efficient in many ways. This is what I called a homebrew effect. It's not a brush, it's really a bunch of notes together. And I know it sounds crazy like that, but trust me, this setup is not that hard to understand and we will do it together today. So just before I deconstruct everything, let's take a look at what we have here. So we have our drawing and then we are using a fly pack transformation to copy our drawing. And this is what we have here. So there's the yellow, there's the darker yellow and the red. That's why we have the flame and the two apply pack transformation because the same drawing is used to create the three colors. After that, these apply pack transformation are going through mat resize to change their size. This is something we're gonna check in a moment. And each mat resize is using a mat blur to change their color. Then everything is set into a composite and I put a turbulence under it to get this wiggly thingy. Because if I deactivate it, it's a bit more boring, right? <laughs> and then when I reactivate it, you get this fiery thingy going on. After that, I put a glow on everything to get this little glow around it. And I used a color curve node just because I couldn't get my colors right. I like to use it to try different colors. Mm. And that's it. So it's not super hard, but I'll teach you how to do it today. All right, so let's start fresh. Since we're gonna do an effect that is about light, it's smart to start with a color card that is kind of dark. And then I'm gonna go get a drawing layer. And since we're gonna do compositing, I'm gonna give myself a little place here to put my future notes. And I'm gonna start to draw my flame. For the tools, I'm just going to use a regular vector brush because it's very quick to render. And that's it, so that'll be my flame. Amazing, I am such a brilliant artist. And then to get the different colors of my flame, what I'll do instead of redrawing everything is I'll use matte resize. So the matte resize is pretty easy to use. First, make sure you are in render view because it's not gonna show up in OpenGL view. And I'm just gonna go get my matte resize. I connect it and then when you open it, it's very easy. You can adjust the radius and that's it. The matte resize, what it does is it makes your drawing either larger or smaller. In the past, it was typically used to create a thick line art around um, characters. So if this was my character and this was my line work, you could get like this dark line around it and you can change the size with this node. But that's not how we're gonna use it. <laughs> we're gonna use it in a different way. So now with that flame, what I'm gonna do is instead of copy pasting it a bunch of time, I'm just going to use apply peg transformation. I'm gonna see one will be the inner ring and the other one will be the outer ring of my flame. And then you just connect them like this. If you don't know how to use an apply peg transformation, I have a video about it, same composite. Great. And now before we use the matte resize, actually I'm gonna put a matte blur just so that you can see easily which is which. So then this one is gonna be the inside of the fire. I'm gonna set it to a bright yellow. To change the color, you can just double click on the rectangle and you're gonna get this thing that pops up. I'm using the matte blur just to change the color of my drawing, nothing more. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a matte resize and put it here. And then with this matte resize, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it smaller and you'll see my shape is starting to appear here. So that will be the inside of my fire. And then for the outside, you just do the same thing. So I'm gonna copy paste this since I don't have any animation on it. I'm just gonna bring it to the other side. And the matrix size for this one will be larger instead of being smaller. Just like that. And then in the matte blur, I'm gonna give that a warm red. That's my flame. Then what I like to do to make it even better is to put some pegs. So I'm just gonna get myself a peg here. And with this peg, I'm gonna make it so that the inner flick of the flame is actually a bit lower like that and then you have a flame that is a bit less cheap because this is a quick effect like it, it can look a bit cheap but it's a huge time saver so i guess that's all right after that to get the weird shapes we're gonna go get a turbulence node if you don't know how to use the turbulence i'm gonna link a video in the description below and you can just go check it out and then you can get this cool effect and if you want it to be even more random you can put a peg on your turbulence and move it around with the peg to get even more random effect in your fire. You just have to keyframe the peg in the timeline, okay? And after that, we have to get a glow to make everything glow. Yeah, we're starting to get a fire. I'm gonna use the source color so that it's very warm. So this is the starting point of the flame effect to get like, um, something like this. You just have to play with the colors, to play with the notes, but that is the starting point. And then, no matter what you draw, you're gonna have 
pretty little flame shape. But uh, yeah, so it's a nice thing to do for your animation. And the matte blur, I forgot, but if you want the matte blur to be a bit blurry, you just have to adjust the radius here. Oh, and the fun thing with matte blurs is that no matter what color you take uh, to draw the flame, it'll always be okay because the color will be handled by the matte blur. So this tutorial was just about making stuff technically. Remember that if you want to have a good looking effect, you need to get some reference. And by reference, I mean real pictures and art to inspire yourself. So when I do effects, I like to have a picture to get the real lighting going on. And then I like to get some reference from artistic media to get some inspiration of, of where I want to go. All right, because effects, they are real. You can't just pop them out of your mind. Go get some reference and make that flame look good. All right, so I hope you have fun with that tool and I will see you next week.